Hey, welcome back. We are joined now by Ramona Martinez from Ramona and the Holy Smokes. Thanks for joining us again. Thank you, Jared, for having me back. Now, last time you were here, your show was canceled at Team Pavilion because of the weather. Yes. Now, luckily, that's not a threat today, right, Josh? No. So tell me now, last time you were here, you had just released a single with two different songs on it. Yes. And how's the response to that been? Um, it's been really good. Um, we have considering we've only been a band for a year and a half. Um, we have a lot of listeners I think and a lot of people showing up to our gigs and the response has been really great we're um, actually going to be recording four new songs at the end of this month so we're super excited to do that and release them over the next six months that's exciting and you brought this in this is a new yes. development, right yeah so this is our um, this is our seven inch record that just came out today and it'll be available at Fridays after five um, and yeah, it's uh, anyone who's interested in collecting yeah. vinyl. I like the design. Thank you. Oh, I'm like, which way does it go? There we go. <laughs> um, yeah, so thank you for asking about it. And um, this every proceed that we get from selling this record will help fund our next recording. So. And remind viewers, what, what can they expect tonight to hear? Well, we play traditional honky-tonk music. Mm -hmm. So that's um, with the beautiful pedal steel mm -hmm. um, guitar and uh, drums, bass. Um, and we also perform some mariachi music, so they'll be he hearing some songs in Spanish today as well. Oh, sorry. Oh, I, and I was going to say we're also playing with Woody Woodworth and the, and the Piners. That's a great band out of Richmond that's going to be opening for us. Definitely. Now, you usually perform at like dive bar type settings, right? It's true. What is the difference between preparing for a performance like that and a performance like this at Ting Pavilion? It's such a big place. Totally. Well, when you're on stage at the Ting Pavilion, we opened last year for Lua Project. Um, the most difficult thing is how far apart we are from each other. It's like over 10 feet or more. Um, so there's a lot of uh, hand signals, definitely, and a very strategically planned out set list. Now, last time you were here, you mentioned that people have come up to you. They don't necessarily like country music, but they say they like your sound. Wh why do you think that is? Ooh, that's a really good question. I think um, it's because the way we do country music is very old school. Mm -hmm. um, the, the, there's a lot of stories. There's a lot of simple melodies, catchy melodies, and a lot of music I think that people can relate to. I think people will hear a song and they say, that sounds a lot like my life, and I think that touches people. Yeah. All right, so I don't know if you know this, but the UVA students are back in town this weekend. So know. it is sure to be <laughs> a packed house at Ting Pavilion. Thank you so much for joining us. It's sure to be a fun time tonight. Oh, thanks for having us. We'll see you all tonight. All right, and we've got, as she mentioned, Woody Woodworth and the Piners at 5.30, and then Ramona and the Holy Smokes hitting the stage, headlining at 6.30. NBC 29 is a proud sponsor of Fridays After Five. We'll be right back after this.